Prince Harry finds new Hollywood father figure in David Foster. Prince Harry has found a new father figure in Hollywood music producer and film composer David Foster, according to a report. The Duke of Sussex, 39, has famously endured a fractured relationship with his father, King Charles III, after quitting royal life and moving to the US in 2020. The ongoing rift was worsened by the release of several tell-all projects by the Sussex camp, including his bombshell 2023 memoir, Spare. After settling down in Montecito, California, with the suit's alum, 43, it appears as though Harry has a new inner circle he can rely on and it includes the Canadian music icon, the Times of London reports. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The 74-year-old film composer, just one year younger than Harry's monarch father, has become a close friend and confidant to Harry as the Sussexes continue to build their life in the US. The 16-time Grammy winner, who lives near Harry and Meghan in their plush Montecito neighborhood, is often Harry's go-to man for advice, according to the report. What's more, their close bond was previously described as beautiful by Foster's wife and actress Catherine McPhee, who said the duo are very much like father and son. My husband has a really, really beautiful relationship with Harry. They're so cute, she added. McPhee is no stranger to the royal couple, having previously gone to the same Catholic middle school in Los Angeles as Markle, 43. While the 40-year-old wasn't friends with the suit's alum at school, the pair reconnected in London while McPhee was starring in the Waitress musical. During that time, Harry and Foster kick-started their bond. The foursome's friendship became stronger once Harry and Meghan quit royal life and moved across the pond four years ago. Foster and McPhee helped the couple find a place to stay in Canada, which ended up being a plush $14.1 million rental home in Victoria. The duo ultimately moved to Montecito after just three months in British Columbia. Speaking in 2020, Foster said he was honored to have lent a helping hand to the couple. I was just happy through my friend to facilitate what I could for them, and it looked like they had a great rest, he told the Daily Mail at the time. They are a young modern family. I'm sure they want to balance their commitment to the crown and be a 2020 family. These days, the couples often hang out together in the Golden State. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly in no rush to tell their kids that they're royalty. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are proud parents to Prince Archie, 5, and Princess Lilibet, 3 but the duo are set on their kids having a normal upbringing. They'll have those conversations in due time, a source close to the couple told us weekly. They are so well-mannered. Archie is sweet and curious and playful, and Lily is vibrant and happy. Still, Archie who is sixth in line to the throne, while Lilibet is seventh will come to find out about their royal bloodline eventually. Harry, 39, and the suit's alum, 43, reside in a plush $14 million mansion in Montecito, California, with their kids. The pair reportedly make a conscious effort to keep their children out of the spotlight. I think every parent wants to share their kid with the world, but they just can't, the insider said. Prince, William's kids, for example, have way more safety, even though they're recognizable. And the same doesn't apply to Meghan and Harry's children. They know the world wants to see them but, I would expect them to live smaller lives until that gets sorted, if it ever does," the source added. Despite the pair's busy schedules, the insider adds that Harry and Meghan are hands-on parents. They take the kids to school, they pick them up, and they are very active and present with them throughout the day, the insider said. While the Sussexes usually remain tight-lipped about their home life, Markle couldn't help but gush over her chatty, sweet kids during her trip to Columbia with Harry earlier this month. 